Hey, it's been a while since we've done a Bluetooth headphone video, but we might as well get started today. Um, today we are only going to be reviewing the J Labs Go Air Pop budget headphone set, which are incredible. Now, in today's video, we will be um, going over some of my favorite things about these headphones. I do think they are amazing, especially for the price that they are, which I will be revealing at the end. Um, we will just go over it. First things first, when you open the case, you've got these two buds, which you have two ears. We hope that there would be two of them. If not, maybe just one. Three of them is too much, in case you couldn't tell. Now, first thing I'm going to do is a magnet test, which is... They're staying in there pretty well, because they're magnetically, and they connect. I already have them set up for my phone, so I'll do a microphone test in a sec. But the audio quality is very good. You could get the same thing for, like, the Sony Link Buds or whatever. They're really good, especially for the price that they are. Um, they give you three listening modes. They give you a JLab signature, which... Um, it amplifies the uh, the vocals and the bass boost a bit more. Um, and then there's just the balance where everything is the same. And then there is the bass boost where it's always bass boost. Another thing is that it doesn't, as you know, it doesn't have a charging port on the back or the front. Not even on the bottom. But instead they give you a USB cord to charge it with. So it just plugs right into a USB outlet. Not type C, which is one of my... I adore type C, but for, I'd say it's a really good charging port and an idea that is genius because you don't have to carry around a different cable for your headphones in case it was like micro USB because no, no phone uses micro USB anymore. And as you all know, I absolutely despise micro USB for headphones because it always get like, if you try to plug it in, it'll always jam the port farther back each time it'll ruin the, uh, the headphones, and you can't charge them anymore. And the one downside with this is that if you break this cord, you, like, you can't charge your headphones anymore, and they are, they're done. These headphones also have touch controls, so if I tap once on the right ear, volume will go up. If I tap once on the left, it'll go down. Tap twice on the right ear, it'll pause. Tap twice on this ear, and it will activate my voice assistant. Now, if I tap three times, it will then change the sound mode from JLab signature to balance to bass boost. Any of those three, it'll just cycle through them the more that you tap three times on either side. Now, if you hold down for about one second on, on the right ear, it'll skip forward a track. And it'll do the opposite with the left ear by skipping back a track. Now, there is a light indicator on the, uh, the case which will tell you how charged your um, your headphones are. If it gives you a single like red long tone, which if I pull the, uh, the headphones out, you can see, maybe, if it wants to. Yeah, there you go. If it gives you a single long tone, it means that your, your headphones are charged within 25% and up, which is not a very good indicator, but for the price that you're getting at, it's very good. And it'll blink three times when it's 25% or below. Now, when you're charging, it'll do just the same thing, but with a blue light as it's charging. It'll keep blinking to tell you that, oh, your case is at low battery, whereas it'll just give you a long blue light. It'll just give you a single blue light that will stay on if it's full. Now, we are going to do a microphone test, which is very simple. I'll just say testing a few times, and speak really quickly and see if you can hear the, uh, the, the audio really well. These headphones are $19.99 at a Target. Again, that is a very good price for some very good budget headphones. Again, comparing them to my, my, uh, my Skullcandy Jib True, my jib true shorted out within a few weeks and the right earpiece stopped working. I have had this for a few months and I love them. They are now my new headphones. If you guys want to see more Bluetooth headphone content, we've got two videos which will be linked up here. Um, we've got one video going in depth about AirPods and how they relate to jib true. And then there's also the, uh, 
the Heyday headphones, which were my first Bluetooth headphones that I ever got. Over here, we've got a video on some more budget headphones along with my gift tree. And if you guys want to see more content like this, please subscribe down below. Or anywhere, depending on what platform you're using. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one.